in this video we're going to show you how you can really really easily add polls to your WordPress website with a great little plugin called WP Polls. As you can see I'm in my WordPress dashboard already. Uh, I've already got the plugin installed. Uh, you can see it down there in the bottom left hand side but of course if you need to just pause the video and go install it that's uh, absolutely fine. So let's get started anyway. Uh, there's two ways that we can use this plugin to produce a poll uh, on the website. The first step of course is making sure that we actually have a poll that we want to show. So if you go down to the polls menu down the bottom left and you go to uh, manage polls, for instance, there's actually a poll that comes with the plugin. So if you really wanted to use that, you could, but of course you can choose to add a poll as well. All you need to do is pose a question, add uh, a minimum of two possible responses. Uh, you can just add more with the add answer uh, function there. And then you can configure the particulars of the poll, including when you want it to start and end, if that's something uh, that you're interested in doing, just having it run for a set period of time, uh, which is definitely useful in a lot of cases. Um, and then when you're done, you just hit add poll. Uh, I'm just gonna use the one that comes with the plugin now. So I'll show you the two ways that you can simply add it to your WordPress website. Uh, the first is to add it to a post or a page or uh, something like that. So let's use the hello world post. Uh, and if you just go into the post editor, you'll notice there's a little icon there. And if you hover over it, the text says insert poll. So we can do that. We can just enter the poll ID, which you do need to have. Uh, you can just change it uh, there, as you can see. And we'll just hit update. And we'll just view that post now to make sure we can see the poll. And there it is. So really, really simple. Then you just hit uh, what you want to vote for and then the vote button. But of course, as you saw, you do need the poll ID. So if you want to actually be able to get that, back in the WordPress dashboard, uh, if you go down the left-hand side, back to polls, uh, in manage polls, over on the left-hand column, you've got the ID there. So really, really simple to find that out when you need to. Uh, and that's just a really super cool way to insert them into posts or pages, which I think that's where polls probably belong for most uh, situations. However, there is another way that you can add those into your WordPress website, and that's through the use of widgets. So if you go to appearance and then into widgets, uh, if you scroll down, you'll see polls. Uh, there it is. And just choose where you want it to go. Put in the primary sidebar. Uh, we'll move it up a little bit, up to the top. Uh, there's just a few settings to configure. You can choose a custom title, such as uh, you know make your vote or something like that. Uh, you can choose to show the polls archive link, which is to a list of polls that you've uh, previously had, and then what poll to display. So we're just gonna choose how is my site, because that's what we want for this one. But there are some other options you have in there, such as showing a random poll or the latest poll. Uh, once you're happy with the settings, just hit save, then go back to your website and hit refresh. And there you go. So over on the left-hand side, you can see that poll now. It knows that we've already made our vote, so it's showing the results rather than the actual ability to make a, a vote in that poll. But there you have it. Really super simple to get polls up and running on your website. There's nothing fancy about it, just for simple uses. Though there are a number of great things you can do with this plugin, uh, which we'll just quickly show you now. If you go back down into the polls area, uh, you can go to poll options and make a great deal of visual and behavioral changes to the polls. Uh, you know, such as how it sorts it, the colors, uh, and so on. And there's also poll templates. So this is a big list of the different tags you can use. Uh, and you can see here the areas that you would then make those changes. And of course, you can write your own CSS that targets these different classes that are used, or even just write your own HTML and CSS for it. So you know, a lot of great things you can do with this plugin uh, in terms of customizing its performance. So Hopefully that's a good introduction for you. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below.